in this video we are going to talk about merge fields and up until now we have been displaying just some static content just some static text uh, nothing dynamic but in this modern day and age we would like to see some dynamic content showing up uh, based on different uh, situations scenarios conditions and let's say if i want to have the user's name displayed in here now the username cannot be hard coded here of course it has to be uh, generated on the fly the merge fields begin with the curly braces exclamation and then we have the variable name or anything that we can add in here that is the dynamic content that we would like to add and then close the curly braces so that's how we display the merge fields and display the dynamic content so let's say i want to display the logged in username so what we do is we add we have the curly brace exclamation and then i do dollar sign i put the object name user dot first name and if i hit save on my keyboard this is going to display the name in here i can add some text in here or let me just put this inside as a matter of fact let me put this inside of this item section and i can i can prefix this by the text welcome and if i indent this nicely and for ease of read and hit save i should see that name showing up in here similarly i can add a br tag to display something in the next line and I can display, let's say, the date dynamically. So I can say, now, there's the reserve keyword and hit save. I should see the date displaying at this stage. So that's how we display dynamic content using the merge fields. And just before you go, if this video has helped you in any way, shape or form, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe.